Moving forward, Finance Minister Inago Dongwana will table the 2024 national budget speech on Wednesday. Kodungwana is faced with the daunting task of presenting a budget that keeps government expenditure in check in the face of a volatile economy while finding the additional revenue needed to Qatar raising capital. FNB Chief Economist Mamela Matikani Nguanya said, consistent with the expectation, the latest Bloomberg consensus estimates for 2023 growth stands at 0.6%, with forecasts rising to 1.2% in 2024 and 1.6% in 2025, they anticipate growth to reach 1.8% in 2026, aligning with 2023 medium-term budget policy statement projections. Professor of Economics at Northwest University, Waldo Krugel, shares his sentiment on expectations. It's an election year, so the Minister of Finance will try to send a positive message, but he has little room to maneuver. He will prioritize grants, social spending and infrastructure investment in his budget speech, but he does not have a lot of additional money to allocate or to give tax relief with. Analysts are also hoping for some policy guidance, from electric vehicles to a possible bailout for Transnet and the funding of the NHI. The employment and unemployment figures for the third quarter of 2023 will also be published this week. I suspect that we'll see some job losses in the sectors facing logistics problems and job gains in those that benefit from the December holidays. January's consumer price inflation figures are also announced this week. In January, uh, the data may contain a small spike due to prices that are only me measured in January, for example, medical aid premiums. But in general, inflation should trend downward this year and hopefully we'll get back to lower inflation quite soon.